This is a, a short uh, uh, press release regarding the recent uh, reports uh, emanating from Dr. Fred Matiangi and the alleged deployment of officers to arrest him. I would like to, uh, from the outset, very clearly state that no officer from the DCI or the National Police Service for that matter were deployed to find or arrest Dr. Matiangi at his, res at his residence or anywhere else. For the record, I can confirm that the DCI is indeed investigating several cases, but I can confirm that none of the cases under investigation so far have reached the stage which requires the assistance or attendance of Dr. Fred Matiangi. The DCI therefore treats the allegations of a raid into the home of Dr. Matiangi serious and has conducted an initial investigation. We managed to uh, interview several witnesses and our preliminary findings have uncovered evidence of a well-coordinated and a deliberate attempt to spread false information and incite public fear, unfortunately spearheaded by a person of the standing of a former Interior Security Cabinet Secretary. According to our investigations, ladies and gentlemen, activity began building up at the Dr. Matiangi's home on Wednesday, 8th of February, 2023, at 8 p.m. Kenyan time. Initially, Dr. Matiangi informed his guards, some already interviewed by the DCI, that he was expecting guests who were lawyers and instructed them to grant access to his home upon their arrival. The lawyers arrived shortly after and proceeded to a meeting inside the house. They were later joined afterwards by politicians led by none other than the former Prime Minister, Raila Odinga. After another few minutes, the lawyers drove off in three vehicles, leaving three other cars in the compound. And as they left, they informed the guards that they were going to address the press. At around 9.30 p.m., Mr. Odinga and team left the home to go and join the lawyers in the press conference. Dr. Matiangi then informed the guards that police will be arriving, accompanied by the media, to arrest him and instructed them to allow the police access to the home but to lock out the media. The communication team attached to Honorable Raila Odinga then alerted newsroom that the former CS home was surrounded by, by an elite squad of the police. The media without question reported the news as a fact and became part of the disinformation campaign. This was a deliberate and malicious attempt to spread false information and incite fear and is nothing more than the highest form of fake news. The DCI will leave the media to its own self-introspection and in our view it should hold itself accountable for the role in spreading this false information and it should apologize to the public. The DCI will not tolerate the purveyors of false information and will take firm and bold action against all those involved in this matter. Peddlers of falsehood must understand that they will no longer get away with the careless acts targeted at the souls of our nation and the national security. The DCI will continue to conduct its investigations into this matter and will soon announce the next steps in the proceedings. We assure the public of our commitment to due process and holding all those accountable, all those involved accountable for their actions. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.